Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about an incredible new smartphone that has just arrived at the market. I'm talking about the Nubia Red Magic 9 Pro. Now, this smartphone has some incredible specs. First and foremost, it is in fact running the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor, so it is one of the fastest smartphones on the market. It also happens to have a UFS 4.0 storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM and mind-blowing Geekbench scores that are faster than phones like the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. Of course, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is going to come to the S24 Ultra, but as of now, this phone is faster than the S23 Ultra. This phone also has a headphone jack. Beyond that, this phone also has some great lighting effects built into it. It has a gorgeous design, as you can see, especially from the rear. The display on the front does not have a hole punch cutout. As you can see, it's an all screen display. The bezels are nice and symmetrical. It does have a camera that's built in under the display to give you this full screen effect. You can also see that it does have up to a 120 hertz display refresh rate and also an extremely bright and crisp display with stereo speakers. So you can't see it, but on the top right over here, there is in fact a 16 megapixel under display camera that is hidden, which allows this phone to have that all screen display. It also has some great customization and personalization options, even the ability to change the fingerprint sensor animation, which means it also has an in-display fingerprint sensor. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on here. The first thing I do want to do is I want to give you guys a tour of the smartphone, the physical characteristics. So let's do a quick tour around the product. So you can see here's the phone, beautiful design in my opinion. I like the busy futuristic design on the rear. We have a nice glass finish on the rear. We have a triple camera system. I'm going to talk about those in a second. Uh, on this side, you can see we have a matte metal finish, okay? So it's not going to have any fingerprint smudges. It's the same all over the place. Now this over here is actually an exhaust fan. We also have an intake fan. So this phone has a built-in fan to cool the device, especially when you're gaming because it is designed to be a gaming smartphone. So you have intake and exhaust fans as well as built-in cooling, just like a gaming computer. Actually, just to clarify, this one on this side is the intake fan. So this is where the air comes in. And then over here, we have a fan. This is not the camera, okay? This is a fan. It's got the RGB lighting, just again, like a computer. And then over here, we have the exhaust fan. This is where the air comes out. So the cold air enters this way, cools the phone, and then the hot air exits from this end over here. We still have triple cameras, by the way. This one, this one, and this little black one is the camera. I'm gonna talk about those in a second as well. So here's something else that's crazy. On the top, we actually have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right here. We have an IR blaster. We also have a speaker on the top, and then we have a speaker on the bottom as well. And then we have the USB Type-C port and the SIM card tray. Now on this side of the phone, we talked about this one, this is the exhaust fan. Here's the volume rocker, here's the power button, and here's the toggle switch that takes this phone from normal mode to gaming mode, which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Actually, let me quickly show it to you right now. So I'm gonna toggle this, and look at what happens. Go straight into the gaming mode, and you can toggle back out. So that's just a toggle button. And then over here and over here, we have the shoulder trigger buttons that are kind of like the R1 and the L1 button on a PlayStation. They are customizable and they're designed for gaming. Okay, so great overall package. Now with the camera, we have a 50 megapixel main camera. We have another 50 megapixel ultra wide camera. And over here we have a two megapixel macro camera, which really is nothing special to be honest. 
And over here we have the flashlight. Remember, this is not a camera, this is just a fan, and it's got the RGB lighting in it as well. But we do have a triple camera system. Also, there's no camera bump on this phone, so when you put this on the table, it sits completely flat with no wobbles whatsoever. Now, when you unbox this phone, you do get some extra stuff in the case. You can see we actually get an 80 watt fast charger which is what this phone supports we do get a nice red colored usb type c to type c cable and we even get a little protective see-through case to get you started it's not the case i would recommend long term but to have a case in the box to get you started is a great benefit and of course you got your pin ejector tool which is funny because this is what you get with most current flagship smartphones in the market. When you plug in the charger to this phone, you get to see a beautiful animation on the main screen that gives you exact percentage points by which the phone is charging. You can see it is actually very fast. So basically, if you have a dead battery, you can get up to 35% battery life in 10 minutes and to fully charge from zero to a hundred, it only takes 40 minutes, which are some impressive numbers also considering that the battery is actually 6,500 milliamp hours on this Pro model. Now I did lower the lights a little bit, but you can see all those LED lights on the phone also light up as you're charging the phone to give you this nice effect. The whole thing feels extremely futuristic and next generation. You can see there is one light right here. There is one light on this shoulder and one right on this shoulder and there's also a light in this area right here. They all light up in harmony and you can also customize the way these lights behave. So for example, if I go to the customization menu and go to light strip, you can see I can go to the charging area. And now look at these uh, colors over here. Right now it is pink, but I can change them to orange. I can change them to green. Now it's gonna be green, blue, whatever you please, okay? So there's all these customization options and you can also turn them on or off if you don't need them. That's all gonna be up to you. Now talking about the LED lights, again, if you go to the settings right over here, okay, and if you go to theme and personalization, at the bottom you have the light strip effect. When you tap on it, you can see I can customize the light strip for all these different scenarios for incoming calls, for charging, for alarm clock, and even for playing music, I can go inside and make sure my LEDs are flashing or they're steadily lighting up or they're breathing as I'm playing music on places like Spotify, YouTube Music, and stuff like that. So for example, here I have the YouTube Music application. If I tap on play, I just killed the volume, but you can see the LED lights are in fact blinking right over here for the color that I chose. And the same thing is applying in the back. So that's blinking as well. As you can see, the number 60. So that is the breathing effect. And then I have the lights here and here. And the same stuff can be done for any one of these scenarios. Or if you don't want it, boom, you just turn the whole thing off and you're good to go. It's all going to be up to you. There's plenty of customization here. All right. So at the end of the day, this is a gaming phone. So let's talk about the dedicated gaming mode. So I told you guys there's a button right over here, the red button, all right? So when you toggle that, it activates the gaming space. So I'm gonna do that right now, toggle it, and you can see that it is going in there, okay? And this is my gaming space. I have a bunch of buttons here I can use to customize it. I can turn on and off the fan. So if I tap on this, the fan starts. If I tap on it, it stops. Also, when I start a game, the fan is going to also start automatically so the game can run in a cool fashion. But this is the game space. You can tap on plus. You can add even more games or other stuff that's available. I can tap over here. That is my thing. And I can make all these adjustments. This is crazy. Gives you a stat on your gaming performance. These are my network settings. I can tap on allow. My screen settings. My anti-disturbance settings when I'm playing a game my system mistouch settings, and all these options here just for gaming, okay? This is the game space center. Now, when I go back, if I want to launch a game, I tap on the game. It's going to launch the game. So if I tap on this one, it just launches that game. You can see it is loading up. 
it is optimizing it for the maximum performance and the fan has turned on so it's going to run nice and cool so here's the genshin impact game i can tap on start it's going to load it up you can see it's very fast so it is downloading the resources and again it is running the snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor so everything is super fast looks like the whole thing is almost loaded up here tap to begin the game looks and feels amazing okay so it's playing so fast right now clearly it is running at 60 frames per second or even more i'll look at the settings in a minute but uh wow no lag no stutter super smooth look at this man this is crazy all right and this is one of the most demanding graphically demanding games that you can play uh, on any smartphone look at that okay so those are dead let's tap over here i'm just going to see what we are at here so if i go to the settings all right and if i go to graphics uh, we can see we are on the maximum graphics so i'm playing at the highest settings right now available for this phone and i'm really impressed by how smooth this gameplay is all right let's run around a little bit yep beautiful so that's gaming by the way when you're done and you want to exit the game mode you can just toggle the switch back and it actually exits the game and everything and locks the phone and you're back in business right here now let's quickly talk about the cameras and i'll let you know that i wasn't expecting the cameras to be good but they are actually very good now the front facing camera that is under the display is a 16 megapixel camera that one is not that great if you are in a brightly lit environment it can still produce some nice selfies but when you don't have much light it becomes very blurry and in my opinion unusable but the rear cameras are actually very good both in daytime and nighttime you can see some photo samples on the screen it is not at the level of a flagship camera but these 50 megapixel cameras are in fact capable of making some really nice shots again both in daytime and nighttime so you are going to be able to generate some very usable photos using the rear cameras and the video quality the video stabilization also is very good especially because we also have some optical image stabilization built into the camera both for photos and video so i would give the camera at least a b plus much better than the previous generations now a couple other things i want to look at is the overall interface i love the interface overall for example when you pinch the screen and you go to wallpaper you do have some really gorgeous wallpapers as you can see as stock wallpapers you got this one right here which is a live wallpaper beautiful okay you've got these guys over here as you can see these are some gorgeous clean wallpapers let me show you a couple more here okay these things do make a difference look at this one that's beautiful so we have these gorgeous wallpapers some more live wallpapers as you can see all right these work on the lock screen as well so that is great and then if i go over here look at these there's so many of them and that's good all right and then beyond that one more thing if you go to the settings okay we talked about this menu themes and personalization this is where they have bundled everything you can customize for example the animations as you can see can be fast faster or whatever it's all going to be up to you uh, the fingerprint sensor animation can be changed it can be any one of these guys as you can see that's great we have always on display options we also have the light strip customization we talked about and basically just about everything you can think of you would have the lock screen customization as you can see and you have a bunch of options at the bottom all right so plenty of customization to make this phone yours now here's things that this phone doesn't have this is primarily a gaming smartphone with the fastest available processor with a powerful cooling system to keep it running at maximum performance as you're playing highly demanding games however it does not have wireless charging it does not have reverse wireless charging it does not have any protection against water or dust so no ip rating it is using gorilla glass 5 for its construction instead of the gorilla glass victus plus that you find on the latest smartphone so it has a bunch of compromises but also a bunch of strong points the whole point of this phone is to be 
one of the best gaming smartphones on the market and one of the fastest smartphones on the market. But this is not a comprehensive package with all the flagship features. It is priced at a reduced price compared to flagship smartphones. So of course, all those things are something you need to be aware of before you decide to buy this phone. All right, so my overall impressions of this phone is that it is a very, very good phone. I've talked about basically everything I want to talk about in this video. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, Drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?